Mark Cuban recently appeared on The View in order to give his take on not only what's going on with the Kamala Harris-Trump election 2024, but also what he thought about women that supported Trump. Take a look. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm. Well, now entrepreneur and Shark Tank star Mark Cuban has been working hard to help Vice President Harris close the deal and defeat you know who. And he joins us now. Please welcome back to the table the amazing, the fabulous Mark Cuban. Yeah. Yeah. Question. Hi, Mark. Thanks for being with us today. The election is less than a week away. You've been campaigning with the vice president. Where does this race stand, and who do you think is going to win? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, Sarah? You dropped off. Sure. The, the election's only a week away, so I know you've been campaigning with the vice president. We wanted to know where you think the state of the race is. Who do you think is going to win right now? Oh, I think the vice president's going to win, obviously. I think, you know... Things have changed a lot since 2016. Cue the laugh track. Look, cue the applause. I didn't hear what he said. You know, in 2016, <laughs> you heard yeah, the, the, in 2016, yeah. yeah, the 2016, the um, Trump voter was the silent voter, somewhat in the 2020 um, election. But now, I think it's really switched. I think Elon I taking over Twitter has emboldened Trump voters to get loud, to, to denigrate um, yeah. Harris voters. And that has really caused people to be quiet. And then you hear him say things like he did last night about women. I really think women are going to win this election yeah. for the vice president. Yeah. I think they'll come out in numbers. I think they'll, you know, not listen to their husbands. I think they're going to do the right thing and vote. Did you hear what he said? Let me rewind it for the people in the back. This is the Mark Cuban, Shark Tank Cuban. Out in numbers. I think they'll, you know, not listen to their husbands. I think they're going to do the right thing and vote for the vice president. He's encouraging women. Similarly to, to Michelle Obama, this is how you know that they're all friends and they're all part of the establishment. He's encouraging women to go against their husbands and to vote for Kamala Harris. Are y'all paying attention or no? Are y'all paying attention or no? They're telling you what they're doing. They're telling you what their strategy is. He said, I think a lot of women are going to go against their husbands and vote for Kamala Harris. You heard it directly out of his mouth. Okay, so talking about 2016, in 2016, you supported Trump for a little bit. Sorry about that. But then, <laughs> then you saw the error of your ways, and he is not happy with you now. He's calling you a loser. You're weak. You're pathetic. He says that once he stopped taking your calls, you went rogue. <laughs> <laughs> is that really how it went down? Something tells me no. Your thoughts. No. No, no I mean, like... <laughs> when he was um, president, I actually, you know, he asked for help on PPE during the pandemic. I helped out all, all I could. He invited me to lunch, bring my kids, bring the family. Yeah. It just, it didn't work out. Who would but, you know, the, the funniest him? part. Sorry. <laughs> Who was what? <laughs> it's good. These women are evil. Who would bring your children after somebody... Let's continue. Go ahead, Melissa. <laughs> well, Mark, let me ask you, because I know you were a Nikki Haley supporter like I was in the primary, but now you're supporting Kamala Harris. And turns out Donald Trump is not even asking Nikki Haley for her help to try to reach her voters. What do you make of that? And do you think having people like Liz Cheney, Adam Kinzinger, and other Republicans with Kamala Harris is going to put her over the edge with these Nikki Haley supporters? Yeah, I mean, yes, it'll put her over the edge with Nikki Haley supporters. Donald Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women, ever. Yeah. And then he goes on to explain and, and basically destroy y'all and all of that. I guess Tulsi Gabbard don't count. Does Tulsi Gabbard count? What about Laura Trump? Listen, listen. They can throw all of the ad hominem attacks at y'all that they want. They can throw all... Tulsi Gabbard is the person that ended Kamala Harris's presidency in 2020. And if it wasn't for being a DEI hire, because they still wanted to capitalize off of the black vote, then she would have never been in office in the first place. I would argue that Tulsi Gabbard is 10 times more intelligent, intelligent and maybe even Laura Trump is 10 times more intelligent. Ditto for Candace Owens. 
Look, we don't have to go into it. We don't have to deep dive into it. I heard that Laura Trump pulled up to uh, News Nation in order to explain her position and better understand exactly why Mark Cuban, because we've seen Sage Steele. Sage Steele read him the riot act. Sage, Sage Steele went off on Mark Cuban for disrespecting women, for supporting Trump. Why, they, why don't they respect our votes? He said something that I thought was very interesting. He said that since Elon Musk bought Twitter, which I think that it's a little bit of jealousy there. Since Elon Musk bought Twitter, that Trump supporters have been even more emboldened to go after Kamala Harris supporters. I, I, I actually think it's the other way around. All of the pushback and all of the evil that I've been getting is from people that are Kamala Harris supporters. And they don't respect you. They don't respect your vote. They don't respect that you have the ability to think for yourself. They automatically start throwing ad hominem attacks on you and accusing you of being off the reservation when in, when in fact you are on the plantation. This is Laura Trump's perspective. We already seen her bully Charlemagne and, and, and Envy and all the rest of them on The Breakfast Club, but this is her take uh, after Mark Cuban's ridiculous insults towards pro-Trump women. Billionaire Mark Cuban has said that Trump doesn't surround himself with strong, intelligent women because he doesn't want to be challenged by them. Is that up there with one of the most offensive things you've ever heard? Because you spend a lot of time with him. Oh, Mark Cuban. Yeah, I, it's almost as though they're trying to sink their campaign totally. First, Joe Biden, of course, called us all garbage. And then Mark Cuban came in just to take anybody left standing out and say that all the women who support Donald Trump, who, again, want safe communities, want a great future for their children, want a secure border, want more money in their pockets. We all apparently have, have no intellect whatsoever. We're weak. It's ridiculous. Uh, obviously, it's very insulting. Um, I'll just go ahead and utilize myself as an example. I'm the co-chair of the party, and I can tell you that uh, he and I have many conversations about a multitude of different issues, and he always wants my input. It is obviously such an insulting thing for Mark Cuban to say, but it actually goes to show he has no idea what it is about Donald Trump that people love. We love him because he tells the truth. We love him because he continues to fight for us, and we love him because we've seen four years with Donald Trump in the White House. We want that back, and I'll tell you what, the smart, strong women are going to be voting for Donald Trump this election. I'd love to know, have you ever challenged him and how does he take being challenged by a woman? Of course. Oh, he and I will uh, have a conversation about many different things. And sometimes I don't agree with him and I'm, I'm very honest with him. There's a nice way to disagree with one another. And he always takes what I have to say into consideration. Um, and I think it's one of the, the really charming qualities that he truly has. He can take criticism, constructive criticism, very well. And he really does want opinions of people around him. And I, I, I'm sure I'm not the first person to say that. In, in um, any time that you're with Donald Trump in a group of people, he always asks for people's thoughts and opinions on things. And of course, he makes the ultimate decision. But, uh, but I certainly have, have had my fair share of conversations with him where I didn't agree with him. And, and sometimes he changed his mind and did something differently based on what I said. So, And that's how men are supposed to move. And that's how we're supposed to move in our household. That's the way you're supposed to move in your business. And that's the way you're supposed to move as a man in society. Absolutely, we want to surround ourselves. The majority of the people that work for me are women. That's a fact. I value their input, I value their opinion, I 100% believe that they're experts in their fields. But ultimately the decision comes up to me. This is not a group decision. This is absolutely the decision that I'm going to make that's best for us. That's what great leaders do. And so it's so funny how people paint him a certain way. They all loved him. They all loved him. He even considered, and I remember him saying that he would love for Oprah to be his vice president. Thank God that ever happened. They all loved him at one point until he ran as a Republican, and then everybody all of a sudden started hating him. Um, of course, Mark Cuban would know nothing about that. <laughs> of course he wouldn't. I need to know who came up with the garbage truck idea and how did they get one literally within seconds to the airport? Well, this is, this is the ultimate Donald Trump turning lemons into lemonade, right? 
Joe, of course, Joe Biden insults us all and calls us all garbage. And Donald Trump says, you know what? We're not garbage. And if you think we're garbage, then I'm the garbage man. And he shows up in less than 24 hours, I even think, after that comment in a garbage truck with the vest on, the whole thing. It was fantastic. Uh, we have a really creative campaign team. I will say that. If you look at any of the Team Trump social media accounts, you will see we're pretty funny, we're pretty witty, and we have some really good ideas. So it was a team effort. And the fact that our team in Wisconsin executed getting a garbage truck with a, a Trump van sign on the side of it in less than 24 hours, I got to say again, kudos to them. They really killed it. So listen, listen, don't let these people insult you. We not tripping. It's similar to when somebody said that Anton, you were square. They led with that because they want to try to, you know, make sure that you know that you not one of us. That's cool. That's cool. I don't want to be one of y'all. I did. I've never been interested in being a part of the go along to get along game in my entire life. My whole life has been dedicated to being an outsider. Yep, and it all comes from our foundation in the Bible. It's because it said that, that hell enlarges itself. And it said that the path to righteousness was going to be narrow. And it's not going to be many people that make it. And those that make it going to get in by the skin of their chinny chin chin. And so when it came to going to school, I was like, you know what? If everybody is going right, or if everybody is going left, or if everybody is going backwards, I'm going to just go ahead and go forward. I'm not really interested in being a part of the in crowd. I'm going to be different. Why? Because it just doesn't make sense to me. As I was growing up and they kept saying, oh, man, we need to go ahead and do this and we're going to vote liberal and we're going to be a part of the Democratic Party. I was like, what are we doing? Why does this make sense? We're conservative people. This don't make sense. And as I became a man, I put away childish things and I've made the adjustment because I don't want unwanted babies to be eliminated as a form of contraception or illegal immigrants running over into this country or for us to be overtaxed or for people to continue to give out handouts based off of money that they didn't earn. I'm cool with that. And when it comes to even going against what would be the most popular thing, this is not the first time I've been on this wave for a long time. I remember, what was it, two years ago that they tried to convince me to turn against somebody that was a good friend of mine because they didn't like her and I needed to get on cold. And you know what I said? Mmm. Mmm. I care nothing about what y'all think. I don't switch up under any circumstance. I'm going to do what I want to do when I want to do it, and that's the way that we're going to live our lives. We're going to hold it down. Hold it down. And so it's a lot of people, as usual, the same way that they was on the wrong side of history when it came to two years ago. All of the people that was in that same group, mm, 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 they either gone, broke, Ain't grown, ain't did none of that stuff. All of the same people. Mm, mm, oh, pitchforks. They out the way. We running it up, they just running in place. Same thing what happened to all of the people that said that I was crazy. Richest person in my family, naturally so. I deserve it, I deserve it. Let me give myself a round of applause. All of the people that I went to school with, I've seen some people on Facebook send me some stuff, my dogs and all of that. They say, Anton, it's people from school that said that they hate Trump's boy. I think they talking about you. That's cool. I'm the richest person in my class. <laughs> graduating class, that means. Richest person in my graduating class. Shit, I might be the richest person that ever came out of my school. I don't even know. But guess what? It's beautiful. It's fun being right. It's fun being on the right side of history. At the time... It doesn't always seem like it makes sense. And it always seems like the whole world is against you. But it's just like Noah. They're going to laugh at you while they're building the ark and they're going to be trying to get on the boat when that flood comes. You know what I'm saying? 